Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about Nazis, a warning from history. Now according to IMDb, this mini-TV series first aired in 1997, but BBC have recently been playing the clips. Now for some reason on iPlayer they only have the fourth episode just now, and then this week the fifth episode will air. Um, but the fourth episode will be gone by that point, which I think is kind of weird, because normally when BBC are airing a series, you'll, they'll keep it all on until the whole series has been on, and then for about a month afterwards. But for whatever reason, they're not. So for the purposes of this video, I am only talking about the episode, the fourth episode, The Wild East. Now, this episode looks at the Nazis' relationship with Poland and the Germanization of Poland, and how that affected both the people living in Germany at the time and the people living in Poland. And it is absolutely beautifully directed, and for me, that's what makes this unique. I have seen millions of documentaries about Nazi Germany and about the Nazis and about the Second World War and the, um, the road to the war. And this one is just so brilliant. It's directed by Lawrence Reese, I believe he directed the whole series. And the way it's told is fantastic. The sound effects are terrifying. You know, you have, there are gunshots, there are sirens, um, as you would expect. But you also have a lot of patriotic songs as well, German patriotic songs, which is weird um, and not what I'd expected. Normally when I'm watching documentaries like this. They don't include those songs in the way that they're included in this. So I was quite happy to see that because it gives it a little bit of originality, you know. There are also a lot of interviews with various different people who've been affected. Um, there's an interview with Greiser's housemaid, which I thought was really quite unique and something I've never seen before. I haven't heard her speak before. Um, there was an interview with a Germanized Pole, um, which I thought was really fascinating because often, you know, we'll have these interviews with people who's, you know, parents or grandparents were killed in the war, but we never really get to hear how they were impacted themselves. Whereas having this Germanized poll, and that is the, the show's term is not mine, um, so I don't know whether they'd be happy with that or not, it kind of shows us the, the, the effects of the war out with the murder. So many of these documentaries show the side, the side effects, the, 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 the effects of the murders. You know, it's, you know, so many people died and this is what happened. But this one actually focuses on the problems that arise just by saying that somebody is now a German. By taking a category of people and saying, right, you're German, it actually looks at the impact that has. And normally programmes don't really mention that. They focus on the what could argue, arguably be on the more severe side, you know, the deaths and things. So I like that it's taken a slightly different approach. It is a very educational programme, we get to see a lot of footage from the time, a lot of stills as well, and some quite graphic ones. Without going into too much detail, there's a particular still of people um, who have been hanged, uh, and it's, it's quite quite graphic it is. Uh, I think BBC iPlayer had the option for parental lock on this one, so I do think that, it, well it's definitely not for a younger audience, of course it's not. Um, I'm not really too sure how a kids programme about Nazi Germany would really work. It's It wouldn't be a correct portrayal. Um, this one is not heavily laden with dates either, which I thought was quite nice. Personally, I could cope with that because I've studied Nazi Germany on and off for about 10 years. You know, I, I, I've looked at it in quite a bit of depth. But if you're just starting out with Nazi Germany, I think it's quite nice. This series as a whole seems quite nice. Um, and I don't know if nice is the right word to use, but it's a very beneficial, educational, creative programme. And that's not going to bombard you with too much information. This particular episode obviously focuses a lot on Greiser and Forster. Um, which may be quite baffling when you just think, I know when I was first starting out with learning about Nazi Germany, you think, Nazi Germany, Hitler, the, Hitler's the bad guy, end of. But obviously there's a lot more people involved, a lot more people who are to blame as well. What this also does is looks at the different opinions of the Nazis. Generally speaking, you say Nazi, you think, right, they all, they all followed Hitler, they all believed what Hitler was saying. Whereas there are certain people involved in this, um, not necessarily in the SS, but in other um, areas of this that may have followed out Hitler's orders, but for different reasons. And it looks at that and looks at the different opinions and viewpoints and different sort of motives, if I can use that word, behind some of these really monstrous actions, which again, really heightens this in terms of its uniqueness. Very original programme, very beautifully directed, very creative, very wonderfully present presented. This fourth episode is an hour in length, the other four, uh, other four, yes, other five, can't count. Other five in the six part series are the same length. I cannot wait for the next episode and I'm hoping that I can either buy the DVD so I can watch the previous three episodes or BBC will upload them at some point. But it's really good if you're interested in Nazi Germany, if you're interested in history, if you're interested in the war, do watch it. It really gives it a, a different angle. Um, I'd like to as assume that the other five episodes are like that. Um, fingers crossed they are, because this is really interesting, really educational, and you're not watching it 
thinking you've seen it a million times. I've seen a million, as I've said, documentaries about the war and about Nazi Germany. And they're all often the same, but this one I find is quite different. So I do love it. Don't, you know, brush it under the rug and think, I'm not going to watch it. Because it is good. Do check it out. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.